Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Natalie Colwood from Natalie Colwood Mixed Media, and today we're going to make a junk journal out of magazines and just one magazine. But you need thick, you know, those thick um, magazines that are almost like books. So if you're interested and wonder how the heck I'm gonna make a junk journal out of a magazine stay tuned coming up next okay so I collected a bunch of magazines the ones you can use for this project is the ones that are the thick ones like I said like with thicker pages and with the kind of really cool look at this photography in it Photography that kind of inspires you to make a, sort of like an arty page. So we have the People's Magazine from 2018. Uh, another one is called Orion. This is all about the weather and the environment. Look at this beautiful page. Got some really neat photography. See that in here? We got this. Then we have this one's called Studio. This is an art and craft magazine. So it kind of lends itself to really interesting pages. Got some cool stuff in here. Again, thick pages. And the other one is a Fault Mountain Culture. That's a, a local magazine that comes out, I don't know, four times a year or something. It's all about the mountain lifestyle. <laughs> the front page is pretty cool. And it's, these are, there's a lot of uh, um, ads in here, but there's also really cool pictures and stories. So I might cut this out already. Oh, no. Not very nice. But look at these pictures, aren't they amazing? Like this one. So, and now I have the hard choice to pick one of these magazines. Which one should I choose? Hmm. I'll be back. So, I settled on this one. Actually, really love the front page. Love these colors together, ochre and gray, or it's brown, it's hard to tell. When it's light, but yeah, I really like this one. So, there's, you can do it in two ways. You can actually cut it, which takes a little bit of effort, in half, and use it, to, then you get two, or you can just use the, the whole thing, which I'm going to do. I'm not going to cut it, I decided to leave it like it is. And so, the, again, the inside also is different ways to do it. What you can do is, you can use gesso, gesso over the whole page, or whatever you like, and to keep, and then just take pages from this magazine and stick them on there and make them all cool. You can use it as a art journal, as a junk journal, or if a mixture of both or a glue book as well so I think I'm deciding to use it as a junk journal and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through it and check some of the pages I really want I'm going to leave them in and the ones I don't like that are going to be more for using for adding on to pages gluing them up I'm gonna take them out so I'm not gonna let you have to watch this so I'm just gonna go get through it do this and then when I'm done you can I'll text you uh, show you the next steps I took some pages out a few the ones are double or I can use other images that weren't big enough to use in my opinion there. Um. Yeah, so I'm going to show you what I did. So, <clears throat> the first page, I have a thick enough gluing this on here, but then it kind of moves. So, I decided I'm going to do just some front page at some point, not right now. 
And you have this, I think it's a horse or a deer or some cool skeleton. And these ones I'm going to glue together because there's only writing. And then I like this. And I have another square thing that's going to go on the other side. And I'm going to leave, leave this and stick on something there I had. I obviously going to leave that. Leave this. I'm going to glue these two together because I'm not a, this is not even something that interests me. So, you know, and on and on. I'm going to leave this page. It's going to be glued together. And then I'll leave this page to work on. You get the idea. So today I decided to probably maybe work on this page. Yeah, I could work on this one too. Positions, decisions. The nice thing about this, it gives you prompts, right? You can go, right, go with the image that's there. It gives you ideas. You don't have to think on your own. What the heck with a white page? What should I journal today about? So I'm gonna start with this. I'm gonna go get some gesso. I think I have some left here. Let's see, a little bit, a bit more. Just gonna start gessoing a little bit over it. And then I'm gonna think about what I'm gonna do with the, with the color scheme. If I'm gonna leave it like this or just introduce some colors. So I'm gonna go get some gesso. So I just it. used some glue, st a glue stick and just, uh, Glue those two together, so get that going. It's not quite dry yet, but that should be okay. So get that going. And another thing I want to tell you about is you can reinforce this with uh, tape. You can use duct tape or you can use um, really strong painter's tape just to give it an extra strength. On the back here, you also can use tape inside and some pages to make them stronger. I'm also going to use this to keep it flat. Put some clamps on here, just maybe one is good enough. It's nice that they're wide and open. I don't have to mess around with trying to keep them flat with some of the other bought journals or notebooks. Okay, so I've got a whole bunch of chessa here. Giant bottle. Just squeeze some out and start slapping it on. Just gonna use a kind of old and raggedy um, brush. Can't talk today, sorry. This is fairly wet, it's not as thick as the other one, so it takes a few more layers. Like it depends. It's still it's still sometimes nice depending what you're after to see the background. It doesn't always have to be totally uh, covered. And as as you can see, this won't cover it because it's liquid, just so. But it's I think it's matte. Uh, we'll find out. Might not be. <laughs> I just have to. Use layers and yeah, just do it. Um, I'll try to have it as dry as possible. Don't use a lot of water. Everything is dried, you can see. Okay, I made those ripples, but I kind of like it. It looks like an old wall, stone wall. So I, found, I went to my stashes and found a few things. I cut this out because it's kind of convenient. Dinosaur, even though this is 
maybe maybe not a dinosaur I couldn't really find uh, didn't really look too much what it actually is but anyway I found this gorgeous piece of paper it's like a plasticky paper piece of paper I'm not actually sure what it it's from a stash that I bought I need to watch the video when I went to dollar store uh, I'm gonna link it up there where, where I got this So uh, yeah, I got that. I got um, a white jock writer pen, whatever you want to call it. I got some, I think it's bronze, a marker also. I bought it at the dollar store. And I got this fine tip pen here. Oh, it's gold. So we'll see if I, what I'm going to use and when I'm going to use it. But a few things. And I have this green washi tape. I thought I had black tape somewhere, but for some reason can't find it. And this is from a notebook, black notebook, which I used in my other. You need to watch also the video. I will link the last video. And so I am um, going to use that too. So what I thought I'm going to do, just playing around with it a little bit. I'm going to stick this here. And you can open it. Not sure about this. Let's see if it says on here. I think I'm actually going to leave this because this is about the story, I think. So I'm going to leave it. We can sort of read somewhat. Some of it is cut off what this is about. I think it's about a creature. They don't know who he is. And yeah, then you open that up. You see that. You can read that. So I'm going to put that on first. See if I'm just going to use a regular glue. If it doesn't stick, I'll have some heavy duty white glue. Um, translucent glue here. Stick that on. I've already pre-folded it so it should stick nicely. Again, I'm gonna have the junk journal here but it can also just be an art journal. Let's talk, call it art junk journal, shall we? Because I think one of those other ones I definitely use for an art journal. But I got art journals that I need to finish first. That. And this one, I did the same thing. I just folded it over. I just think I stick it on here or should I just stick it up here? Can't decide. So I just. No, it's not. Unless I cut it. Should I cut it all? Let's see how that looks. Hmm. Maybe I cut it a bit. You know, I always think I know what I'm up to and then I change my mind. It's okay. cooler. Okay, so I'm gonna use this glue, the white glue. It's just a craft glue. Let's see if that's gonna work better. I'll go all the way up to there. Okay. dry. I'm not sure if I use this somewhere else in, on this page or for another page. Oh, maybe put it up there. Kind of works, I think.
Get this. Should I put this here? Let's stick it here. Sad smile, sad eyes, leave them be. Yeah, just um, seeing where I can put some details and do some writing, just using the chalk. And then after I'm going to use some of the uh, pen and the, and the uh, marker. I think I know what I'm going to write on here. I wanted to put with white, but my white doesn't work very well. So I'm using, I don't know if this one's going to work. Oh yeah. Sort of. Use our green tape or something. the best washi tape I just got some online because you can't buy any in the local store here anymore I haven't checked walnut mark yet maybe there be some there I'm not sure but I don't go to Walmart very often it's about 30 minutes away now what we're gonna do here we have to go find something you know what I'm gonna put here I'm gonna put a cave man drawing here like a guy. Let's see, I don't know if this is gonna work. That's 
kind of cool. You can open that up. And then on this side, I put a TP. And soul hurt and fire and ends. Raindrops, teardrops, a good old cry. Daytime and nighttime, the light makes me blind. I'm done. What do you guys think about this page? Oh, came out pretty cool. <laughs> There's some gesso stuck in here now. Got to think about making a nice cool page in here. But yeah, that kind of came out neat. It's not anything amazing special, but I do like it. Again, you know, you can just play around. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just some fun. Gives you ideas. I usually use these things, junk journals or art journals, to get ideas for new and big projects. I'm going to make a sun over here. This sun has just died, so let's do it that way. Okay, if you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe, like, and share, and, you know, ring all the bells, and buttons, and, um, yeah, make sure you watch those other videos I mentioned. I'm going to put them up there, and they'll be in the cards and all that, and, yeah, see, you can just make a junk journal, art journal, out of a magazine. You don't have to go out and buy a fancy, fancy magazine, uh, journal. This is cheap. You can even buy it, out, get it out of the recycling, or depends. Or you go to the thrift shop and you know, pay a couple of bucks. It's still cheaper than a, and it's just so much fun to recycle to make something that you would go into the recycling bin, and who knows what they do with that, and make some art out of it. Okay, make sure um, you watch that other video. See you over there. Bye.